Hello, hi, hi everybody, how are you today? Hey, in this video, we're gonna be talking about ghosting, getting ghosted, maybe you ghosted someone. Let's uh, kind of talk about this. Hi, I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Ray Connection. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about how to stop ghosting. Why, if this is such a common thing, you know what? People get used to it. We are amazingly adaptable, but that doesn't make it right. It's like paying taxes. It's like, oh, I know I got to pay the taxes. I hate it, but I got to do it, right? Oh, I know everyone talks about getting ghosted and I'm just going to have to deal with it. No, there is a deep root cause for this. And it's time for us to start removing it. And I'm here to teach you how to do these things. And the good news is you get to use your brand new light body and feel the benefits and feel what replaces all the icky feelings. You know those icky feelings, those feelings of abandonment, those feelings of anxiety, those feelings of waiting by the phone, wondering if that person is going to call, those feelings of scouring the city, wondering if you'll bump into that person who took your energy or can you receive your energy back right where you are from the comfort of your own home and begin doing this the proper way, right? Because chasing a human around really isn't necessary. Running and chasing, like we got to leave it in the past, right? Because you are a multidimensional, magnificent light being doesn't always feel that way. I'm here to help you turn your light on. Turn the heart light on, turn on the other lights, really get you to feel like the luminous being you are, okay? And yeah, I'm grabbing some quotes from Star Wars, right? Because in a, a long time ago in a galaxy far away, this stuff started to go off the rails, really started to get bad. Why? Okay, so one of the first things that we notice and people start with, we've got to find a name for that, narcissists, that they only think about themselves or we don't care. <laughs> we do not care what their reasons are. We don't care if they have abuse issues, if their dad beat them bloody, if their mom beat them bloody, if all the guys in the neighborhood ganged up on them, if they were the victim of mean girls, Okay, your mind can make a gazillion excuses for bad behavior, okay? And try to rationalize why you should just love them through bad behavior, bad behavior. And sometimes you might even wonder, is this even your twin flame? Like, why are you expending all this energy and effort out at a person that you have doubts about it, okay? There's a reason, there's a reason because it's not love. Okay. That is not love. You are not being treated with love because just because it's so common doesn't mean it's acceptable. Only one person gets their needs. Okay. Whatever their needs are that they've met, whether it's to manipulate you, whether they need your energy, like it's their gasoline, whether they want to keep you off balance, like there's like a whole list of things narcissists do, right? But there's not a list of things that you do to prevent it. I have that list. I have the way to get this out of your roots, out of your heart, out of your sacral. Because that's where it has to start. And the reason is sex and love are so detached that we must glue it back to the 5D heart and it starts at the root. What? How can something that's up here start at your root? Why are you living in your lower chakras? I know lower chakras are like your base survival things, but your foundation isn't there anymore. It isn't down to the core of the earth. It isn't down on some other plate. It has to be in your 5D heart. Sex and love have gotten torn asunder and we are putting it back together. This is the job of twin flames is to put the love and the sex back together. Don't believe it? Wait till you start feeling it through your etheric body. Wait till you start feeling that the work that I'm outlining makes you feel healthier. 
makes you feel like this stuff whizzes past and through you and doesn't linger to make you sick. Wait till you feel that the energy that belongs to you, your Kundalini energy comes to the heart level where it belongs to support you. Wait till you feel what it feels like to be hugged, kissed, dream about the real stuff in preparation for the real thing, the real togetherness, the real merging of yourselves to each other because that's how it works. So we are going to focus on this. What about some of the other things that happens with ghosting? Okay. And like I say, people got to have their fuel. They find their money for their addictions, for their, you know, little six pack of beer or their pack of cigarettes, and they don't give a crap about you. They really don't because they are having a relationship with that thing and not you. You're just there as additional fuel for it. Sorry to say. So I want you to get your energy back. You know why? Because you're not crazy. The alarm bells that are going off in your body, that's not butterflies in your stomach of love. That is alarm. That's like a five alarm fire for some people. Like, <gasps> okay. Some people have been so abused and so ghosted. And here's another thing. You think you're going to date, right? And that you're going to find somebody out there on a dating website or something. And guess what? Because you're trapped in the lower chakras and other people have siphoned off your energy, you're going to attract the same kind of jerk. It's that simple. Okay. I want to help you unplug from that so that you meet better and better people. You and your soul are selective. You are selecting people and being able to say, no, thank you. Part the ways because the queen is coming through with her divine energy or his divine energy. Okay. Because this happens to men too. Men get ghosted. Men wonder why they, you know, attract like certain people. Yeah. And what about, what have you been looking at? Okay. So love triangles. This is a real common one when people are unhappy in their long-term relationship or they're unhappy in their marriage. They go looking. They don't sit there and try to work it out. They don't sit there and, you know, say, well, let's go to a psychiatrist. I got problems. I got addiction problems. Um, oh God, I have anger management problems. They're just like, my spouse doesn't understand me. I got to find someone else to go pound it into. Okay. That's what happens with love triangles. Are you simply a receiver for someone's angst, worry, um, terrible relationship? Are you getting on board with that and hating your own gender? I caution you about this because you'll get the ping back. Now, it's not easy for me to say these things. I want to help people get out of these karmic patterns that keep spinning here. Okay, you're living in a place where karma is still going to happen and things break down and people will have breakdowns and their marriage is supposed to break down. You're not there to give them fresh gasoline to keep fueling their marriage or their bad long-term relationship or any relationship. Don't turn into a junior psychologist. Don't be a sugar mama. Don't be a sugar daddy, okay? Because that's... That's what happens. What is siphoning your energy? Who is siphoning? What's doing it? And I hear this a lot from people where they're like, oh, um, this person, I think they're my twin flame, but somehow their spouse is doing black magic on me. Well, that's quite a concerning accusation, right? And it can be very alarming. And now you're talking about fears. And now guess what you've done? You made that person the most powerful person because you're handing away your power over to them. Stop letting them siphon your energy, your mental energy, your fear energy, your sexual energy, because you're going to get ghosted because guess what they're going to do? That person is unaware of what's going on. They don't even know you exist. And yet the energy is being triangulated. OK, and this has gone on and on throughout history. The book stops here. It's time for real action. 
Time for real actionable steps by following the instructions. I've been guided to give people the instructions and these are some of the things that you have to start fixing. Why? You said why? Because it's gone on throughout history. It's been who you've been arranged in marriage to. It's been the sly little, you know, affair on the side. It's been the things where people take your energy or they take what doesn't belong to them. And this isn't pretty stuff. This brings up some really deep emotion and it can bring up dark emotions too. Like what happened to people when they got ghosted? Some people stuck their head in the oven. That happened not too long ago with people. They go run the car in the garage until they pass out and pass out of their body. This is real stuff. So if you're wondering why this passes through the collective, why do some people have ideations of things? You got to start it where it's been kind of anchored and we start unplugging it. We're going to guide it out, say bye bye to it. And you have to do your part and set your boundaries. Now, these are energetic boundaries. So we've got to get started on this. And we are also going to talk about the overlaps and the carryovers. OK, what is being carried over relationships that involve sex and money? This could be marriages. This could be aligning your kingdom or your fiefdom. This could be, you know, dowries. People forget that they're from cultures where sometimes you were buying a bride or the bride's family gave a dowry to the prospective husband. And these are all really old ancient things. Guess what? They're still in your roots. And guess what? They're still going to flavor your relationships with people because that's going to tie up your money connections that's going to really you know block it real good okay sex and fighting how many people live with someone and you start feeling like oh i don't really want to be with them i don't want to get intimate i'm not feeling it oh god they're gross oh my god they get drunk and then they smell oh my god his mustache smells like burned feathers because he smelled like, oh, like, right? And then they got to fight to just be able to be in your energy, right? They just kind of fight to stick it in, right? And this is not easy stuff to recall or, or feel like, is that me? Like, was that me? Was that me? Like, is that my people? Is, are, is that my ancestors? I know there's stories about my ancestors, like, my God. What did my ancestors endure? How, what can I do? You start doing it. So join us. We are doing a workshop webinar on the 15th at 9 a.m. or the 13th at 7 p.m. Can you do it? So let me leave you with a couple of thoughts. A lot of people like these. This is a rose quartz and you could put it well, you know, near your heart chakra. And you'll feel the vibration, right? And this is fun to do. Your brand new twin flame light body supersedes these crystals. It's time to use your light body because it is what is sufficient for your divine connections. This is kind of insufficient. Now this, you can feel it as an individual. Your twin flame may or may not feel it depending on what's going on in their environment. Let's get your light body going because that is the thing that benefits both of you. And as I have found, okay, this one is the only way is up, really. And this one is stand up for your rights. Stand up for yourself, stick up for yourself. This means set your boundaries, start setting energetic boundaries, stop the ghosting, stop the narcissism. Get on a track of a good relationship, a good union, and the only way is up, okay? So I hope you'll join us. Please look in the description below. Look for the links. Email me or my website, twinflamereconnection.com, because you're not crazy. You're here to be in love and not all this other stuff. Thanks so much, and... I'll be back with more, but please join because that's the only way I'm not, you know, my, I'm guided to use my gift to help people, but I do it in workshops and webinars.
not on the public YouTubes. However, please let people know about this. Please share my video, like and subscribe. It helps my channel. It helps me get the word out. It helps me to help people who need this. Do you have a friend where they're just wondering why they keep attracting them? Just please, let's get started, okay? Okay, you know why? Because also the younger generation, our kids need angels like you. You might not think of it as yourself like this, right? But every little bit counts. So rather than everything piled on, let's do more than peel the layers and get this clear and get you connected. Thanks so much. Bye.